गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल एम आई ऑडिबल थैंक यू सो वेलकम टू द सेशन एंड टूडे सेशन विल बी टेकन बाय अवर डियर विद्यांशु uh so vidyanshu secured 49 the rank and it's uh, i would say he himself his uh, preparation and his journey and the results it's a huge uh, you know source of inspiration for all upsc aspirants so i sincerely congratulate vidyanshu on his success and i know aspirants how so many concerns regarding this prelims preparation strategy especially many are concerned with the, the changing trend in the last year i mean 2023 so vidyanshu sir will give you a detailed idea on how to approach 2024 what all things you how to take care how to approach gs1 csat etc uh, so once again on behalf of fender uh, upc aspirants family i welcome vidyanshu to this uh, session let us start thank you sir thank you for providing me this opportunity am i audible to everybody yes sir you are audible yes sir Uh, so uh, we shall begin by introducing myself so i am vidyanshu shekhar jha i cleared civil service exam 2022 i got the 49th rank in the reserve list so those of you who don't know upsc does not release the entire result at once so for exams like civil service engineering services wherever there are multiple services upsc will declare result in two parts 90% result in the first time and once these 90% people are allotted their services it takes 3 4 months after that they will release remaining 10% name so the second list is called as reserve list so for civil service 2022 there were 1022 seats uh, 933 seats originally came in may and remaining came in november remaining 89 so i got 49th rank in that and i have been allotted danix service which is delhi and andaman nicobar uh, island civil service so we join as sdm come assistant collector of delhi Uh, you might be posted intermittently to Andaman Nicobar and Lakshadweep, and IAS officer also join at same rank of SDM come assistant collector, but they get quicker promotion. And after two promotion, Danix officer formally become IAS. So it was an ex excellent service in that regard. So I gave it as higher preference, and I have got that service. My training will begin in one or two weeks, I think. So about myself, my background and my prior struggles with UPSC. Um, I am a civil engineer. I did my B Tech in civil engineering from VIT University, Bangalore, Tamil Nadu. And uh, after my graduation, I immediately started preparing for this exam. So why I am especially taking this prelim session is my history with prelims. So what happened? I started. Um, I graduated in mid of twenty seventeen, and then I started preparing for this exam. So in twenty eighteen, I missed prelims cut off by two marks. जनरल कैटेगरी कट ऑफ वाज 98 आई हैड 96 सो दिस वाज 2018 इन 2019 आई डिड नॉट अपीयर आई हैड चेंज्ड माय ऑप्शनल टू एंथ्रोपोलॉजी सो आई टुक गिव माय सेल्फ सम टाइम टू प्रिपेयर फॉर माय ऑप्शनल अगेन इन 2020 आई मिस मिस्ड बाय 0.67 मार्क्स एंड इन 2021 अगेन आई मिस्ड बाय 1 मार्क सो इट वाज दिस कंटीन्यूअस स्ट्रगल ऑफ 2 मार्क्स हाफ मार्क्स 1 मार्क्स एंड बाय 2022 आई ऑलमोस्ट हैड लॉस्ट फेथ इन माय सेल्फ एंड दैट ईयर आई i cleared not just civil service prelims but also indian forest service cut off so those of you who don't know civil service and forest service have this common prelims but because forest service has lesser number of seats so it has much higher cut off so usually forest service cut off is 15 to 20 marks higher than civil service cut off last in 2022 it was 88 marks for general category in civil service and it was 103 for forest service i was getting somewhere around 120 so i cleared both of them in 2022 also in 2023 i appeared only for indian forest service and again i cleared so again i must have been like 15 20 marks minimum more than civil service cut off so here is my history that three times in a row i failed by one marks two marks margin and then twice in a row i cleared even forest cut off which is typically 15 20 marks more than civil service cut off so i told sir that i'll be more than happy to share with the students whatever i did also in this session we will be discussing about uh, mains related things interview indian forest service a few people are interested and other questions for now we'll begin with the uh, prelims strategy so first we will discuss prelims and then if you have any questions and then we will move on to mains indian forest service etc so shall we begin 
we have 60 people now i think so uh, regarding uh, prelims first thing i will suggest is that uh, you divide your preparation in few pillars one is your static part then second part is your current affairs part and third is test series part and fourth the most important part would be uh, previous year questions so these are four parts and coming to the first part of static area i did i'll give you my books what i did so in ancient history the same uh, uh, spectrum book also i had bipanchandra notes uh, i made them myself but that is not necessary i you people can skip that and spectrum itself is enough for any other book ncrt is you can do but ncrt is a too many and from class 6 to 12 there are too many ncrt so if you can do that if you can revise them then it is good but otherwise it becomes difficult to keep track of so many books so i personally did not do ncrts you may do if you want i'm talking about new ncrts here so in modern history i did not do any ncrts i only did a spectrum uh, in ancient and medieval what i did was i made notes from Uh, old ncrts so those notes i have been revising again and again and that has been one pillar of my success so what happens is upsc will typically ask minimum 10 to 15 question from ancient medieval art and culture minimum 10 so most of the student will struggle here and that is one region where i have taken an edge from most of the student because i have revised my notes many times if you want i will share my notes with justin jord sir and even with the students of karm yogi is if they are there i will share my notes with aditya sir so you can get my ancient and medieval notes they have in they are including art and culture so if you want you can do my notes so i have i have simply revised my notes again and again for ancient medieval art and culture and for modern history spectrum so see the idea is don't run after too many sources limit yourself to one source and revise it as many times as you can what happens is Uh, we have this uh, issue we have this we are lured by this notion that if we read 10 sources instead of one or two we will have more knowledge but the thing is on the exam day you won't be able to revise those 10 sources or even two three sources so limit yourself to as little sources as you can but good sources so uh, this is regarding first um, history modern i did a spectrum and ancient medieval art and culture i did only my notes i will share my notes later with sir you can get it from galentius if you want and that is history in polity uh, i did lakshmi kant and uh, some uh, limited reading of ncrts in class 11 and 12 because if you go through the previous year questions you will realize that some questions at times they ask which are directly from ncrts so it may not be there in lakshmi kant so for polity these two things uh, lakshmi kant and limited reading of ncrt class 11 and 12 then in economics uh, i initially did murnal sir's video but those who are from south i think murnal sir speaks in hindi so only his notes will be beneficial otherwise you might be having material of galent i so that material can be referred so any book can be done apart from that you will have to do your current affairs book and uh, budget and economic survey so these three things any one source of uh, static content then your current affair book and your budget and economics are with these three things are sufficient for economics in environment again there is this uh, i think shankar ias book uh, so i have notes of those books so again that book i did many times and apart from that current affairs material so you see the idea is i did not do anything special but i did these things many times and we are talking about a static part only here so but you people study i am studying the same thing there is no secret material if you people might think in that we all study same thing so history polity economy environment and in geography and crts from class 9 10 11 to 12 in geography i did not do some people might suggest you gc leong and other books but see in prelims only four five questions will come from geography so that also very basic so doing gc leong and other books is not that good in cost to benefit ratio so i only did ncrts class 9 10 11 to some people also do murnal videos uh, you might have other your coaching at valent i so anything can be referred so this is regarding my sources in, in a static part uh, if anybody has a question we can ask 
you can ask. Then we will proceed to the current affairs part and the series and previous year questions. And can you repeat the question for your economics? In economics, as I said, uh, I did Munal Sir's video only. So I made notes from those videos. Munal Sir's notes are also available on the internet. So that can be referred. Then if you have any material from Gallant IS, that can be referred. Uh, then there are various coaching institutes like uh, I had another material from Next IAS. There is a coaching institute called as Only IS. They have their material called as Udan. You can download that for free. So Udan material is for each subject, history, polity, economics. So they have very beautifully summarized entire content in 100, 120 pages. So even that can be referred. But only thing in okay, science and tech, what about science and tech? The thing is, I am an engineer. Then when I began my preparation, I had physics as my optional. So I'm good with that part. Later, I switched on to anthropology. And then in anthro, we have to study bio. So here I did not refer any special material because I was myself very good in, at these things. But again, uh, you can refer to material by Gallant IAS or the Udan book. You can note down this book. Udan is actually very good. So I have used this book Udan multiple times. So there is an institute called as Udan IAS. We will come to that series part later. Uh, you should start from, I will say, start preparing prelims from December itself and um, within one or two months, depending depending upon your stage of preparation, you should start giving test series by maybe January, February. So, Udan material of only IS I used, you may use any other material, that is not an issue. See, the thing is, every material is good, be it from Gallant IS, Vision IS, My Notes, every material is good. Thing is, you should be able to revise that Thing multiple times, four or five revisions minimum. My notes, I might have read them 100 times. So that has been my command. If you give me one week for prelims, I can appear for prelims again because I have revised those notes 100 times. So that is the idea. Every material is good. You must just go through it multiple times. So this is regarding the static part. Later on, I will share my main notes. Yeah, yeah. So my optional is also anthropology. Yeah. And so I have read Anthro, uh, mm -hmm. both the paper, uh, mm -hmm. at least once. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a good understanding of the topics as well. So uh, the thing is, I joined a test series for Anthro. And, uh, but what happened in last two months, I got sick, very sick. So I could not proceed on, like my uh, preparation got hampered. So uh, uh, while writing the test for the answer writing, sir, I um, felt like there should be different type of notes for answer writing, like the introduction, conclusion, all these parts for anthro. Mm -hmm. And then prelims is also coming. So, sir, how should I restart and how should I proceed on for this attempt? This is your which attempt? Sir, it's my fourth attempt, sir. Fourth attempt? Yes, sir. Have you, so is anthropology new to you? No, sir, it's not new to me. But in terms of answer writing, like uh, I feel, face some of the hurdles. And have you cleared prelims in past? No, sir, no. See, uh, thing is, prelims itself is a big hurdle. Uh, mains, in my opinion, is actually easy exam because in mains, people do not finish their syllabus. They do not practice their PYQs. They do not have uh, a command over answer writing. So mains, actually, the moment you have all these pillars covered, uh, in my case, as I mentioned, that I kept failing in prelims and the first time I cleared prelims, I got selected. So in my opinion, prelims itself is very tough. So I will say that at most you should, what was your, can you share like by how much margin did you miss prelims in the past? Sir, by 20 marks. 20 marks. So see, 20 is, a, mm -hmm. so 20 is a significant margin. I will suggest that you focus on prelims for now and in anthropology, if you have already your notes, then those notes can be revised in four months. Four months are enough time. I also did most of my mains preparation in those four months. I will say that from December itself, you start preparing for prelims because prelims has become very tough these days. I scored somewhere around 120 marks in 2022 when cutoff was 88. And in 2023, the paper made me cry. Thankfully, I cleared again forest cutoff, but on that day, I was very disappointed and shocked at the paper. So UPSA has really evolved very quickly. So I will suggest that for now you focus only on prelims. And for anthropology, if you have your notes, that is enough. If uh, 
if you have if you don't have any other notes then i will suggest there is this anthropology simplified notes uh, from akshar jain sir so for any missing topic you refer to those notes on the day of exam how much how many things or how excellent notes you have prepared these things don't matter what matters is uh, do you remember even simplified form of those notes and are you able to finish the paper see everyone will write miserably in means but you just need to write less miserably than others and finish the paper timely so four months should be enough you know anthro i will suggest you do prelims and uh, anthro we will do later so sir i should uh, leave the mains preparation completely is it yeah yeah completely see getting an invitation to write mains is a big deal people don't get that it took me four years to write my first mains and i cleared in that attempt itself it is actually a very big thing Okay, sir. Yeah, Arshia has raised her hand. Arshia, you may ask your question. Uh, yeah, hello. Good evening, sir. Uh, yeah. So I just had one question, which is constantly hitting. So I have not appeared even once for the UPSC per se, but mm -hmm. I keep practicing my mock papers. So, sir, like uh, uh, prelims, I'm uh, I'm about like uh, I get around hundred and ten at times. At times, it's low. It goes down to seventy, seventy-five also. Uh, but that is, uh, I mean, still I feel that uh, with every day it's a different challenge. But I'm facing a lot of issue with the CSAT for some mm -hmm. reason because uh, as I was analyzing the paper, sir, I felt that up till last year CSAT was uh, different. But the last year CSAT paper was way different. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. I'm a literature's graduate and I was mm -hmm. unable to do most of the math section. So uh, how should we, uh, because uh, although CSAT is qualifying, sir, but we do need to qualify that to yeah. be in the game. So could mm -hmm. you just guide us a little about how to go about CSAT for non-engineers especially? Yeah, CSAT is so difficult that when I started my attempts, I was scoring like 100, 120 without any effort. And now that uh, I have so much of experience and now I'm actually preparing for CSAT, my score has come down to 80, 90 levels. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so how should one go about it? I mean, what should yeah. we do? So regarding CSAT, what I will say is, actually, uh, thank you for bringing this part. I was actually going to share it next. So regarding CSAT, what I will say is that you start now itself. December is the right, right time. And uh, you finish CSAT by, try to finish it by January, February, so that you can use rest of the time for GS papers. So what can be done is first uh, in passage part, you download UPSC previous year question from 2023 and backwards up to 2017 onwards. And there itself, you, UPSC will provide the answer key on their website. So just go through their website, previous year questions and do English passage from there. So from there itself, you'll get an idea that what kind of statement are right, what kind of statements are wrong. So sometimes they will exaggerate the statement so much that uh, only this can provide a solution. Those kind of statements are usually wrong. So that is for English part. I will suggest PYQs alone are sufficient for the English part. For maths part, there is a book called a CSAT Brahmastra. You may note down the spelling for people of South India especially. Brahmastra is B-R-A-H-M-A-S-T-R-A. You can purchase this book. So this book is especially good for number system. In mathematics, there are a lot of chapters, but Number system is most difficult. And what UPSC has been doing in recent years is they are asking like 20-30% uh, mathematics question from this number system part. And it is actually the lengthiest. So you, you should do this book in my recommendation because other materials are not enough. And most of the questions are from number system. So this can be done. Uh, next thing is uh, what you can do is uh, you should go to Vision IAS website and download their solutions for CSAT for previous year questions. So Vision IAS on their website will provide all those solutions for PYQ. There, what Vision IAS has done is they have solved the question also. So you will get an, an understanding for other questions of maths and reason that how those questions could have been approached. So solving PYQ and understanding their approach will help you. And uh, another strategy what I used to do was I would do all the passages quickly and in maths, what I would do was I would give few seconds to maths question and reasoning question and I would try to brainstorm that can I attempt these questions. I would give myself like not more than 15 seconds. And if within those 15 seconds, if I feel that I can attempt this question, then I would go. Otherwise, I would leave that question because you have to attempt 80 questions and usually you will not be able to 
do more than 50 55 so which one should be these 50 55 should be decided quickly so i i would give only 10 15 seconds so every year i have been attempting like 50 55 questions only and uh, in that way using my english and whatever maths i can so you can buy the csat master book also uh, there is another channel called as on youtube called as edu tab come civil tab you may note down the name edu tab come civil tab there they have provided lot of free videos on csat the thing is they will speak in hindi so people from kerala i'm sorry but i did from that source edu tap and civil stuff but if you don't have it is okay you might you may buy the csat pro master book it is a good book you can, you can do it but csat is actually very important like as i felt this year my exam was not so good that i could have cleared forest cut off but because i cleared csat and most people got slotted in csat so i cleared forest so so i hope this answers sri lakshmi could you repeat the question sir can you repeat the youtube channel link yeah uh, i don't have the link I, i will tell you the name it is edu tab e d u t a p slash civils tab you type this thing on google and also type uh, uh, csat playlist edu tab civils tab csat playlist by vd sir b for bell or d for delhi vd sir edu tab civil stuff csat playlist by vd sir you type this on youtube you will get the playlist videos are too many there are around i think 180 190 videos i did i did not do english in videos i did not do some logical reasoning i also skipped their test series i only focused on the mathematics and reason part so there were around 70 75 videos in that case but number system has become too tough so there i should recommend you the csat pro master yes sri lakshmi you have raised your hand so i have a, uh, another question mm. so uh, for uh, when, uh, my problem when i, t- I took the mock test it was that i can't uh, minimum at least we have to complete two rounds right for uh, the 100 question at least we have to complete two rounds right for Uh, ch- uh, the, to complete the question mm-hmm. if we attempt 70 or 80 whatever number but we have to uh, take at minimum two rounds for looking the question but i am not able to uh, reach the 100 question i i am not even able to complete one round so what should i do to increase my speed that my question uh, i am taking a more in, uh, like accidentally i am taking too much time on each question so how can i improve Uh, that any suggestion to improve that see this thing uh, is this your first attempt no sir uh, first attempt was in 23 and i couldn't clear yeah, this is second attempt so in 2 hours how many questions are you able to complete i i am average i am able to complete 70 around 70 only but I, in that only i i can only score something 50 or something only i am able to uh, attempt so accuracy is also less so how can i improve the number and then then after the test when i see the other 30 questions i have some 10 10 to 10 10 question at least i can i am able to answer so i am le- i am leaving the that question so i am getting less uh, accuracy so what can i do, I do to improve uh, i will suggest that uh, you practice more test uh, the more test you write the more habit you will develop to quickly do it initially it is slow it used to take time for me as well but the more i practiced the quicker it got and for most of the people it is like they are able to finish one round in 90 minutes but if you are finding it difficult to reach then i will say that you attempt the paper in one round itself and those questions that you find difficult you skip it quickly and in that way you will be able to reach question number 100 in limited time this strategy i used to do in csat okay sir thank you uh, one okay. thing i will say is that uh, right now we proceed to discuss remaining things that i have to discuss and then we will proceed for the questions okay so because other people might want to listen to my strategy and then get the questions so so this was regarding the static part that uh, these things we have to do for static for current affairs now coming to the second part current affairs so current affairs you can do few things uh, one you should read newspaper daily and you should not make a distinction between prelims and mains the see the question upsc is asking these days have become very tough and detailed they are asking directly from editorial so 
there is no watertight separation between mains current affairs and prelims current affairs. So read newspaper by yourself. The Hindu is it, itself enough. If you still have time, you might uh, refer Indian Express, but I would say that first you focus your energy on the Hindu. If you can do that, that is enough. Newspaper is done, then you go for any more coachings monthly magazine. It could be Gallant IAS, it could be Vision IAS. Any coaching monthly magazine is okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, last year, I used to do Shunya IAS current affair, but this year, not many questions came from that. So it wasn't very beneficial this day. So Vision IAS is also enough, monthly magazine if you are looking for. So do their monthly magazine and in the end, PT365 will come. So that can be done. And uh, there is another YouTube channel called as Deepak Yadav Education. So again, uh, for my friends of South, I'm sorry, Deepak Yadav sir will speak in Hindi, but his notes are in English. So he will provide you detailed notes. So he actually, what he does is he goes, he goes through the newspaper and then he will go to the background as well. And he will explain you all the background concept as well. And that is really good. So this year, good number of questions came from his notes. So on the YouTube, if you search for Deepak Yadav education, you will find those areas. So again, the thing is you restrict your sources and revise themselves them again and again. So newspaper reading every day, uh, gallant IS, current affair, if, if it is there, and then PT365 material, just revise them as many times as you can. Uh, third is uh, the test series pillar. So in test series, I again uh, did vision IS test series. Uh, you might do any test series, all test series are equal. So what you should do is you give the test series and then you go through the questions which you got wrong. Uh, you find the mistakes and then uh, you note down if there is any additional data. But more important than test series, one mistake that I used to do in my past attempt when I could not clear problems and what I corrected this time was I did not do enough previous year questions in the past. Uh, and if you look at the pattern, then you will realize that a lot of questions are repeated from previous year questions, a lot of themes are repeated from previous year questions and there are many ways UPSC asks questions and you can actually understand UPSC's method of asking question. So this is one thing that changed between previous attempt and this attempt that I have been doing previous year questions and that helped me to clear my forest cut off. So these are four pillars that helped me. And uh, regarding number of attempts, I would say, I see that is a personal choice. You will, you keep doing previous year questions and your test series and based on the learning that you get, you decide how many attempts suit you. But in my case, in 2022, I attempted only 79 questions. And in 2023, I attempted only 78 questions. And both the times I cleared forest cutoff. So in my understanding, it was that uh, I will not take unnecessary risk. And I will um, attempt only those questions where I have either in, I know the question or I could reduce some options. So these are few things I um, did. And uh, apart from that, um, what I did was uh, because I was missing... Okay, we will talk about it in the end, yeah, sure. So uh, apart from that, what I did was, uh, because every time I was missing about missing my prelims cutoff by one or two marks margin, so I made um, list of few things that I can do to push my score. So among these things were, first, my ancient medieval art and culture thing, because this is very difficult part, and I have been very good with this part, because I have been consistently revising my notes. Another thing you can do in ancient and medieval is you go through... Um, current affairs magazine of few coaching. So for example, Vision IS will also provide a culture module of PT365 covering the recent development of art and culture thing. So that thing I did many times. Mm. So that gave me a distinctive edge of four or five questions in exam. And four or five questions mean you are getting 10 marks extra than other people. So ancient medieval art and culture was one area which I practiced a lot. So my notes, I will provide to, sir, you can get it from Gallant IAS. I will also provide to Karmiogi IAS and to my other friends. So either you can refer to my notes or if you have any other notes and current affair, current affair of ancient medieval art and culture. It sounds very surprising what current affairs of art and culture, but UPSC actually picks up question of art and culture from newspaper of recent two, three years. So either you can do some coaching magazines of art and culture. For example, if there is some excavation, UPSC will relate that to the static pattern from there, they will formulate a question. So that can be done. Otherwise, there is a institute called as Class Plus Open Secret. So uh, you just download this app, Class Plus Open Secret, and uh, you open that app, you install that app, and you please note it down. Mm. So... 
Give me a second. Yeah. You install this app, Class Plus Open Secret, or you can go through their website, web.classplusapp.com, and you mention your phone number and you enter this organization code R Y M Q O. So from here, you will be able to log in, and then there is this course of Open Secret History. So what these people will do is, okay, sure, sure, I will type. Let me type this. So you open this app, uh, you enter this code, and here there is a class. So they will provide like 10, 15 lectures, and they will cover entire ancient and medieval previous year questions. You enter your own mobile number. That is through how you log in. An OTP will come. So you enter this code and your mobile number, and then you can log in. There is 1,000 rupee course, and they will provide this lecture. This is what I did. So I can only share what I did. So. They will provide this coverage of last 10, 15 year questions. I mean, like last three, four year newspaper coverage of ancient and medieval. And that helped me immensely in getting extra three, four questions correct. So that was one part. Second thing was, so uh, was Vision IES test series or any other test series, but you do it religiously. Every coaching is equally good, but you do it religiously. You solve all the question, every question that you got wrong, you circle it, you make notes of it. So that is second part that helped me immensely. And third part was mapping. See, every year UPSC will ask four to five questions on maps. And this is one part which people do not focus much on. So mapping can be done. Uh, I have some notes on maps I will share with sir. I share, can share with you. So uh, those mapping, uh, in mapping you have to focus on uh, hills, rivers, plateaus, lakes. Then there are some Ramsar sites, National Park, Wildlife Century, Tiger Reserve and Environment. In international relations, there are places and news. So these things, maps should be ready. So mapping part I did, and I every time I got four or five extra questions correct in map, which other people often struggled. So that was second thing. And third thing, I did previous year question very religiously. Some questions will be repeated directly. Some questions will be from similar themes. And uh, some questions will be from similar topics. So these things will together give you some idea about what topics are important, what themes are important. So for example, in polity, every year they will ask you some questions from engineering, fundamental right, DPSP. So when you go through polity previous year question, that you will have an idea. And then there are some things like UPSC has a distinct style of asking. So if a statement is very extreme, that only these kind of statements are correct, uh, those statements are wrong in science and technology, mostly it is all correct. So we will discuss that. I have the question paper. We will discuss the question paper. So you do previous year question religiously. Start from 2023, go back to 2017 minimum. And 2017 to backwards, if you can go, do topic wise. There is a book from Munal sir. So he has done this topic wise of ancient medieval. That book has things from 1995 to 2023. So from the market, you can purchase by Munal sir. M-R-U-N-A-L, Munal sir. So he has this book of previous year questions. So one thing that really separates toppers from other candidates is their adherence to solving previous year question papers. See, any coaching, any test series will only guide you, but actual things you will learn from previous year questions. So as I was telling you guys that Forest has usually 15, 20 marks more cutoff than civil service. And last year also I gave Forest service cutoff. I unfortunately missed selection by eight marks. And it was my Forest service interview through that is how I got related to Gallant IES and I met Justin Johnson. So, in my forest groups, all my friends had cleared cut off by 15, 20 marks. And one thing that was common among all of us was that how religiously we did previous year question. So, this is one suggestion I'll give you. Do it as many times as you can. There is no limit to it. And uh, regarding current affairs, one more thing I will say. Some people have the idea that they will make notes out of newspaper. 
for now i will suggest that there is no point of making notes just read the newspaper uh, that is enough and then do some decent coaching uh, test uh, modules monthly modules that is enough and uh, in science and tech uh, another thing that i did in science and tech was um, as i mentioned there is this only ias coaching and uh, they have this module called as udan which is freely available so udan pdf can be referred for those who do not have good command over science and tech and apart from that in science and tech you do current affairs so from i did from pt365 of vision ias so someone someone has asked me about science and tech so this is what i did uh, there is a coaching called as only ias so if you go through their telegram channel or their website you will find there is a book on prelims which is called as udan u d double a n udan so those pdfs can be referred for science and tech you i think you can purchase from their website earlier it was freely available yeah correct u d double n udan by only i s correct so i used to do this udan is good even for you know ancient medieval polity i did udan because I have read things so many times. I don't have any more energy to read seven hundred page Lakshman Khan, so I did Uran only. But you people do Lakshman Khan. And in environment, uh, what you should do is you should also have a comprehensive list of national park or left century tiger reserve. I have made a notes. If you say, I will share with sir. Sir can share with you. So you make these notes of national park or left century tiger reserve as well, apart from the regular book. And another thing you should do is. Uh, we should do agriculture so i have some notes there are some freely available notes on shuni ias website i will share so uh, shuni ias has made decent notes of agriculture and every year upsc is asking four to five questions from agriculture topic as well so uh, so you do this agriculture and if possible i will share the notes with sir and sir will share with you so agriculture again gave me edge in another two three questions so these were few areas that agriculture my notes on ancient medieval art and culture my command over mapping my command over art and culture my command over previous year question these things came by uh, the agriculture pdf of sunnayas no no i have the pdf i have so provided, do we need sir. to buy the agriculture pdf no no i have the pdf okay yeah And and regarding current affairs magazine, don't have this idea that questions will come directly. UPSC has actually made it a point that they will not ask it directly. But thing is, everybody will find the question difficult. So the more you read those current affairs magazines, the more you read your own notes, the more comfortable you will be with you know, the questions. So uh, I will share you my experience in two thousand twenty two prelims. I could not solve first five questions in a row. First five questions I did not know. So. i did not lose my hope and i looked at other students in my classroom and i told myself that after if after so much of effort if i don't know these five questions then other students must be in far more difficult situation so i remained cool i remained confident that i have studied enough i have four work four years of hard work with me so if it's so much of experience if i am struggling then other people must be struggling as well so that hope i had Uh, because see questions will not come directly from your notes or from your test series or your current affairs material but then it is equally difficult for everybody so the more number of times you revise those materials the better it is and i will also discuss the previous year question the 2023 question i have decoded it i will share the screen before that i would want you people to note down few things based on my observation of previous year question so uh, uh, Please uh, start noting it down. So there are certain tricks in previous year questions. So if you encounter science questions of science and tech and uh, questions related to environment, then if there is this statement of all correct, it is usually observed that if you feel it is all correct, it will be all correct. If you feel all the options look like correct, so all correct is many a times correct in a science and tech question and environment related question. and then if there is a option of none correct including this year's 2023 paper when they asked that none of the statements are correct none is mostly never correct so you can most of the time reasonably eliminate none correct and if they have mentioned name of any body any organization that this scheme was from ministry of science and tech this um, uh, this session happened under auspices of united nations like that so organizations Uh, name of ministry, name of any body, it is mostly incorrect. 
these things are based on my observation of previous year question so that is what i was telling you people that you do previous year question as many times as so. questions will be repeated themes will be repeated and from there you will understand these tricks uh, again if upsc has asked five statements it is likely that probably three statements will be correct if they have given seven statements probably five statements will be correct yeah name of organization so for example if they ask you that this uh, meeting happened due to by indian navy and say indian oceanic organization then you can probably mark that statement incorrect because upsc has a habit of putting name of organization wrong if they say that this initiative by, was taken by this organization then yeah yeah so again uh, if you find uh, in science and technology and environment if you feel like most of the options appear to be correct and if there is this statement of all correct then you can go with all correct it is mostly there if there is a option of none correct it is usually highly unlikely that it will be none correct so you can eliminate none as the answer again it will not work always but it will work 70 80% time our goal here is to maximize our score so none correct is mostly wrong for uh, organization and body wherever you find most of the time it is wrong so if name of an organization ministry body is mentioned in a statement likely it will be wrong so these are few things you will learn from previous year questions test series will not give you this teaching and this was one difference from my past attempt to these last two years attempt i learned these things and if there are four statements usually two statement will be correct if there are five statements usually three statements will be correct like that and uh, if there is question related to polity and there is a statement that as per constitution the constitution defines these things so these statement wherever you find these statement it will be wrong as per the constitution the constitution defines this thing like that so these statements are usually wrong so what the examiner does is they will pick something from a law uh, anything that has a legal value and then they will put constitution's name before that the constitution defines like that so the more you go through pyq you will actually realize this thing many a times what they will do is they will exchange the statement that uh, attribute of something they will put to uh, statement b and the attribute of a statement b they will put to a statement a and in that way both both the statement will be wrong so you just see if they have swapped the statement if you find something fishy same thing happens with the definition uh, in definition of often they swap the definition so when in 2023 there was a question regarding cruise missile and ballistic missile so they had swapped the definition we will go through the question paper i have marked it i will project you the paper and uh, regarding ncrts uh, i only did ncrt in geography in, in polity and besides that i did not do ncrt so my uh, approach to ncrts was was very limited so this was my uh, approach regarding prelims and now i would like to share uh, 2023 paper with you i will project my screen yeah. yeah so in case there are seven statements sometimes they will give you like six seven statement then usually the option that has five statement that option is likely to be correct so if you go to 2021 paper they asked that which of these kingdoms was existing in india after the time of harsha and from and there they had mentioned seven statement name of seven kingdoms and the option that had name of five kingdoms that option was correct uh, similarly they had given uh, this idea that in, in i think 2021 this was the question that uh, due to magnetism which of the which kind of pollution happens due to magnets or power lines something like that and that option had it had five statements that power line electricity line power plant like that so five statements were there and the option with three statement was correct so that thing can work out and now let me share the screen uh, So can you see my screen? Yes sir. Okay good. good. So yes, I will sir. quickly go through the paper. You see this is 2023 paper. So you see the question number 1 uh, about uh, this Wooler Lake Colerio Lake Cover Lake. So here you have three statements and most likely the one with two statement was correct. So this thing works. 
and then i told you mapping is very important so this cover lake koliru lake wheeler lake all are also ramsar site so i mentioned in environment apart from the book you have to do uh, national park wildlife sanctuary ramsar site these things should also be at your fingertips so that mapping is coming that ramsar site is coming and that idea that out of three statement whenever you have three or four statement usually two will be correct so keep note of this trick that out of three or four usually two will be correct so all of that was working here again in question number 2 you have three statement and two was correct so this idea that out of three or four options usually two is correct so that is still working and this mudra put was in a test series so every test series is good i did vision so it was there in vision jawarla lehru put is in ncert geography so as i mentioned that you should do ncert geography so it was there similarly uh, question number 3 again out of three statement two was correct none is never correct so i have mentioned that none will be very unlikely that none will be the option so in you see question number 1 2 3 they have given option number d as none and it is very unlikely to be correct so that is working and out of three statement you have again two statement correct and then this question was from ncert geography of class 11 and class 7 as well so they have, they have directly picked up this question from ncert geography so you should have an idea from where they are asking question so as i mentioned that ncert you do geography you do polity and history very limited basis then uh, this question number 4 uh, this question was from financial express so there is no way you can prepare to that extent so you cannot upsc does not expect you to know all the questions but your uh, knowledge should be there again out of three statement two is correct and this question is directly from editorial so the more you read editorial combining your prelims and means perspective the more knowledge you will have so if you had read the editorial of any newspaper you would have understood this question and again out of three statement two is correct and none is very unlikely to be correct the question number 5 this was a map based question uh, again question number 6 yeah another trick in previous year question is if nothing works out you see the odd one out uh, aluminium copper iron these are very usual sources while aluminite rhyolite we have never heard of these questions so titanium is very unlikely source we very rarely use titanium so this was there the odd one out option this trick works when you observe the previous year question you will see that the odd one option is usually correct again this question was from swaraj marg magazine there is no way you can prepare to that depth so upsc does not expect you to know from that extent i solved this question because defense is my hobby and titanium is used is used in military aircraft so from there i knew this question but Uh, regardless of that it was a difficult question again uh, this cobalt thing was from newspaper it was from map and in indian express july it was covered it was also explained in uh, it was there in the explained section so i will suggest you do the hindu newspaper and indian express if possible you do the explained part so it was from it was from the explained section in issue the date it is in july exam was in next year may so one year newspaper is enough so democratic republic of congo it was from that point again question number 8 again from map so i told you map has been something that has given me immense advantage and the question is from uh, world rivers in 2020 also they had asked questions from world rivers so when you go through the previous year question that should give you an idea that important rivers of the world is something you should have your at your fingertips so mapping river previous year question themes all these things are repeated again question number 9 in 2020 they had asked a lot of questions from national park and world wildlife sanctuary so like i mentioned that in environment i have always done this part of national park and wildlife sanctuary so that national park and wildlife sanctuary bilgari rangan hills and seshachalam they share this national park and wildlife sanctuary so that should have given you an idea again uh, this was question from map so it will work and again do not apply these tricks and questions of polity and mapping there you should know the answer tricks will mostly work in other areas except uh, uh, mapping and um, i think environment i mean polity yeah, polity and mapping do not apply the tricks again question number 10 uh, this statement was uh, east west corridor was there in test series so again if you solve a test series religiously that, that will give you some idea here none is correct none is very unlikely to be correct but our idea is to get 70% questions correct not every so it will not work everywhere and i already told you that tricks will not work in map and polity and this was from test series again yeah, another trick i forgot to mention that time like i was telling that organization is usually wrong similarly whenever they give you any number that uh, india has uh, imported these many tons of this thing 
as per this report, uh, this many percentage of this thing has happened. Whenever they provide you any number, that number is likely to be incorrect most of the time. So you also write down this trick that numbers are likely to be incorrect. Organizations are likely to be incorrect. So here you see statement number two, at least 60%. These numbers are usually incorrect. And this statement number one, that India depends upon coal for most of the electricity production. The same thing had come in 2019, 2021. This theme has been recurrent of uses of coal for electricity, India's coal sector, etc. So if you see the similar kind of question, you should do full background research. So this coal for electricity has been a recurrent theme in previous years. So from there, you should have an idea that coal is used for electricity. Again, question number 12 was very difficult. I did not attempt this question, but it was covered in Vision IES daily news coverage. So as I mentioned that any coaching test series, I mean, current affair, you should do. Any coaching is good. Question number 13 was actually very difficult. I did not attempt this question. And uh, uh, again, question number four. So again, this uh, 14, uh, this trick works that out of three statement, whenever you have three or four options, two will be correct. So out of three, two were correct. And uh, Again, what I did in exam was I used the trick that Samba deer. So we have this uh, concept that he was caught like a deer in headlight. So deer must be a night animal and lion tail macaque is like a is a monkey and it is like human being and human beings are not very night friendly. So it is unlikely that option will, one will be night friendly. So I went for two options and you see out of three statement, two is usually correct. This works. Question number 15 was from March exam was in May. So you have to keep reading the newspaper. 15 was directly from March 2023 of the year. Again, question number 16. Yeah. So one more thing uh, that is very important. Please note it down. What you will learn from previous year question is that whenever a statement is very broad in its objective, that some, any, may, it is very broad in objective. Some people might do this. It may be used for this application. So whenever a statement is very broad in objective, that a statement is correct, mostly. And whenever a statement is very narrow in objective, like any, none, only. So these kind of statements are mostly wrong. So please note it down. It is very important. So question number C, you see some mushrooms have this property, some mushrooms have that property. So a range is very wide. Any mushroom might have, there are, there might be millions of species of mushroom. Any mushroom might have similar species. So similar properties. So all these statements are correct. And like I mentioned you, in science and tech and environment, if you, it looks like all the statements are correct, it is likely that all will be correct. So that thing was working. And question number 17 was very difficult, uh, but it looks like either, I think two statement will be correct. So that is still working that out of three, two statement will be correct. Again, in question number 18, they are asking about some, some, some. So again, scope is very wide that some microorganism might have this probability, some microorganism might have this property. So all the statement looks to be correct. So you can go with all correct. And again, in question number 19, I went with this idea that, uh, that putting this stick and then bringing insect out of it or making a tool, this looks like a human like behavior. And if you look, the thing I told you that you go for the odd option. So among a fishing cat, otter and sloth beer, orangutan is one that is odd one out because it is very close to human beings. So it is an odd one out option. When you observe previous year question, you will learn these things that odd one out is an option. And question number 20, again, the correct answer is still debated. debated. UPSC has not given official answer key, but um, it looks like all four are correct. So whenever in science and tech, when you think all four are correct, it is likely that all will be correct in science and tech and environment. Uh, Again, question number 21, 22 were very difficult. They were lifted from Live Mint and Financial Express. So this is the range UPSC is going and there is no point in chasing all these questions. Like I attempted only 78 questions this year. So don't go for all the things. Is this, even I got this question wrong. And uh, question number 22 was from regular newspaper. If you have been reading newspaper, you will understand this statement was correct. So it was a very simple statement lifted from newspaper, question number 23. Uh, similarly, question number 23 was from Vision IES PT365. So any coaching test current affair magazine is enough. You read the newspaper enough and then you go through any coaching test series and monthly magazines. Question number 24 was from my environment and my economy notes. So as I mentioned that I did uh, this Monal Sir's notes. So those notes are enough for a static part. And apart from that, you need to do your budget and economic survey and current affairs 
in current affairs you can do pt365 in environment economy so it was from there i will go through some more important questions we don't have enough time to discuss the entire paper but yeah so this question number 28 this uh, tangible and intangible in economy same question was asked in 2018 regarding what is tangible what is intangible so if you had done that previous year question if you had learned what is tangible what is intangible then you you must be having an idea that what is tangible and what is intangible in terms of economy and from there you could have solved this question and again you see the all four options are very unlikely to be correct so that i have marked this uh, finance commission was repeatedly there in news so again they asked this question again in question number 30 out of four usually two or three are correct so they have given two uh, this question number uh, this due process of law uh, question number 31 due process of law so it was again in vision is test series so any coaching test series is enough you just do it religiously one test series no need to go for more than one so this question was directly lifted from there due process of law so you could have solved from there and uh, again question number 32 again this question that uh, presents they were in 2021 previous year question so in 2021 also they had asked about present management so if you had gone through that question in its background knowledge you could have solved this question and in 2021 again that same present question so similar themes are being repeated if you will not ask same question but it will ask from similar themes and this question was also there in vision is monthly magazine so question number 23 uh, chief purpose of constitution 2017 also they asked similar question that what is main purpose of constitution so again this previous year questions become very important uh, this question number 34 so again in 2019 they asked a similar question that uh, shri nehru ji what was the first amendment who brought first amendment that was the uh, question in 2019 and the answer was pm nehru so that amendment if you had done the background research of that question so this question could have been solved so you get the idea that you have previous year question you have to solve them you have to understand the theme you need to go through that theme and you have to have background knowledge of that thing as well similarly again all these questions are from lakshmi kant in polity question number 36 question number 37 38 again if you see question number 38 uh, the source is actually from down to earth magazine again there is no way you can prepare to that extent so the idea is you just read one magazine and you apply your knowledge you practice as many things as you can you cannot trace everything upsc is deliberately asking from lot of sources again in question number 39 they have asked from epw magazine again no one can prepare to that extent so schedule area again this thing was there in 2019 and 2022 as well scheduled area upsc has been asking so if you uh, go through the paper again and you solve the theme so if in the past age years they have asked about schedule areas you do the schedule area thing religiously schedule 5 schedule 6 and again like i was mentioning that name of any organization in body is wrong so you see the statement number 3 that the chief minister submits a report to home ministry so they have mentioned an organization and organization is usually wrong so statement 3 is wrong Here. again question number 40 like i was telling you that in polity whenever they say that as per the constitution the constitution defines these kind of statements are usually wrong again all these things the more you solve pyq you will learn these things so these kind of statements are wrong statement 2 was wrong there uh, question number 41 it was the lecture i told you class plus open secret it was there it was also there in my notes so this question could have been solved from there it was also there in ncert class 12 and uh, see question number 42 in second statement stupa is generally a repository so it is a very broad statement that it is generally so these kind of statement are correct and uh, out of three again two statement are correct so that thing listing holds question number 40, 43 again this was in the class plus open secret lecture i told you about it was also there in my notes and it was in upender singh book but then upender singh is like 1000 page book so there is no way you can prepare that book so i will suggest you go through your notes you can go through my notes you can join this class plus lectures Uh, similarly uh, this 44 class plus showed me that they had this notes but they narrowly missed it so they did not include it but upinder singh it was there but these questions are usually very difficult so you may not do it and uh, yeah question number 45 was again very difficult even i got this incorrect and question number 46 
devi chandra guptam so again it it was there in my notes milinda pano this question was from 1997 um, pyq and one thing i will suggest you is uh, you in history especially you do from 1995 onwards so i told you that there is a book by munal sir for prelims previous year question so there they have from 1995 onwards other subject you can skip but history i will suggest you do from 1995 onwards so you see directly they picked a question from 1997 And again, out of four statement, two was correct. And this question was actually from A. L. Bhasham and R. S. Sharma. But again, doing all these books are very difficult. Similarly, question number fifty. Every year they have been asking a question regarding this uh, British area legislations. So every year there has been a question. And if you do P. Y. Q., you will understand that this area is very important. Uh, question number forty nine was again in my notes. Forty eight was in my notes. So my notes of ancient and medieval have played a pivotal role. again these questions were from satish chandra but that is a very thick book if you can do very good but i don't think so question number 51 again first statement name of an organization that is still state health department it is mostly incorrect so you can mark that wrong and out of four statement usually two is correct you see question number 53 second statement carbon fiber cannot be used once it is used it cannot be recycled so it is an extreme statement it has a very limited scope and like i, I was telling you people that If it has a narrow, broad scope, it is usually correct. If it has a very narrow scope, it is usually wrong. So here they have narrowed their scope that it cannot be recycled. But if tomorrow I make a new carbon fiber, but that can be recycled, so narrow scope questions are usually incorrect. Uh, again, question number fifty-four in science and tech. Uh, if you read all these three statements, if you feel it is correct, then it is going to be correct. In the exam, I did not feel like any statement was incorrect. So in science and tech, mostly all is correct. Again, question number fifty-five. Again, out of three statement or four statement, usually two is correct. So it could have been done. Mm. See, question number fifty-eight. What they have done is they have swapped the definition. So ballistic missile and cruise missile, the definition has been swapped. In question number fifty-eight. Again, in question in second statement, again they have swapped the definition of Brahmos and Agni five. So whenever they define something, keep an eye on this thing that have they swapped the statement. And all these things again, you will learn from previous year questions. Question number sixty-one again. Uh, uh, Ukraine is in news, and mapping is important. So, like I mentioned, that you do mapping very religiously, that will give you a distinct edge. So that thing will help you. Mapping is very important, and like I said, in polity and mapping, tricks will not work. So that idea that out of six statement four will be correct, that will not work in mapping and polity. Here you should know the answer. So in, you must do maps very properly. Again, question number sixty. It can be used. It can be blended. It can be used in hydrogen. So the scope is very wide. Can be, can be, can be. And I told you in science and tech and environment, it is mostly all correct. So it is there. Question number sixty-two again. Like I said, that organizations, numbers, these things are often wrong. So you see, question number sixty-two, about ten times higher. Statement A of question sixty-two. Number is wrong. Again, infrared ray, roughly two-third of isolation. So number is wrong. Number three, num statement D. Infrared waves are visible spectrum. So anybody with any idea of science and tech will know that there are different spectrums. Infrared is separate, visible spectrum is separate. So that statement did not make any sense. Again, this question number sixty-three. This was repeated from two thousand twenty-one directly. Um, they have slightly altered the statement, but the idea was same. So again, the more you do PYQ, the more you will solve. Again, this thing was also in NCERT geography. So in geography, I have been repeatedly saying that you do in CRTs. Same with question number sixty-five in CRT geography. Question number sixty-four again in CRT geography. See question number sixty-six uh, about thermal power plant. None of them uses sea water. So again, they have very lim limited the scope of this question. But if tomorrow there is a new thermal power plant that can use sea water, that can filter the sea water. So they have restricted the scope. So this statement will be wrong. None of them has been set up in water rich district. None of them is privately owned. So scope has been very restricted it is very easy to make these statements wrong so whenever the scope is very limited the statement will be wrong well bachia method uh, what i this question is actually difficult because it is from 2018 the hindu but because i appeared for indian forest service interview as well so we had prepared about environment so i knew this question but it was difficult actually they went very fast again question number 68 again this question was lifted from bbc so again you cannot go to bbc website and prepare but see like i said 
in science and tech, if you feel these statements are reasonable, that in, then it is likely that a statement will be correct. So all three statements look to me correct. I did not see any doubt. And in science and tech environment, often all the statements are correct. That thing still works here. Uh, in question number 69 and 70. So here I used the question itself. I did not know how to use it, but you can use pick words from question itself. So in 69, they have used word aerial. So I found the word air in option A. Then meta, meta is anything at large scale. So here at one go, they have used the statement in option A. And genomics related to DNA. So I've marked them with distinct color. So using the question itself, I found the answer that uh, they are asking about meta. So option B is limited to very limited scope. Uh, Option C is related to blood sample while we are talking about genetics. Option D is very uh, complicated. Yeah. So one more thing, please note it down that whenever they talk about something that is very complicated, unnecessary long statement, then these kind of statements are usually wrong. So a statement D was very long, very complicated. It is very easy for examiner to get this statement wrong by putting some unnecessary facts. So based on that, I solved. Again, question number 70. So... DNA. DNA is again related to evolution. So I marked this part and satellite. So I used this word that during Soviet Union, they had these satellite states. So um, satellite states were the state that Soviet Union used to control. So from satellite, I derived this word relationship and I got this option correct. Otherwise, these questions were actually very tough. So using the question itself, you find the answer. Uh, in question number 73, they have asked this term about beta. So few of you might be knowing in Google Drive, there is this beta upload. Beta means that uh, Google Drive will only see that whatever changes you have made to the drive, only those changes will be updated. So beta is usually a difference between present thing and the past thing. So based on that, I uh, used this concept in exam and I found otherwise these questions are actually very difficult. But the more you go through previous year question, you will understand that the UPSC wants you to explore the question, wants you to apply your brain and then go through the question. So. Uh, from the question itself, I solved this answer. You see question number 70, when I told you that whenever there is a number, it is likely to be correct. So 15 crore to 25 crore in question number 71, first statement, that number is there, this statement is likely to be wrong. Again, statement two, that all banks to MSME are under priority sector. Again, all bank is a very extreme statement. So extreme statements are usually wrong and generic statements are usually correct. So all bank is a very extreme statement. One bank uh, might uh, refuse or one bank kind of loan might not apply to the sector. So it is difficult to be correct. Nobody knew even I did not know these answers, but it was just application of mine. 74, again, they have mentioned the State Bank of India. I told you that when there is an organization, it is likely to be wrong. Question number 76, India's extraction of groundwater. Again, this was from previous year questions. And this thing that agriculture requires most of the uh, water. This is a well-known fact. If you read the newspaper, you will know. Again, in statement number two, they have asked that 18% of world's population, whenever they pick a number, that statement is likely to be incorrect. So you see, statement two is incorrect in question number 76. So you see, all those observations are coming to your use again and again. Uh, again, question number 77, it cannot be used as evidence. So they are limiting the scope, cannot. So these kind of statements are usually incorrect. Question number 72, uh, according to the, const the constitution exempts a state. So whenever they provide this constitution, these kind of uh, statements are usually wrong. But statement number one is a well-known fact. So that was correct. Question number uh, 80, again, the election of president. They had asked a very detailed question in 2018 regarding the state election of president. So president election actually becomes very important based on previous year question theme. Question number 17, again, international relation places in use. You must have good command over mapping. Uh, question number 81 was very difficult, actually. Uh, question number 83, again, came from Indian Express, explained part of August 2022. 84 also came from explained part. So my suggestion is you do the Hindu newspaper, and if possible, you do explain part of Indian Express. That can be done. Again, in statement number 82, I just applied this brain that out of three, statement usually two are to be correct so it was there also the course i mentioned you class plus open secret it was there 85 again i told you dates numbers organizations these are mostly wrong so they gave a date and it was very easy for upsc to alter this date question number 88 again they have mentioned a specific percentage again that same idea that 
date, number, organizations, percentage. These are usually wrong. So statement one was wrong. Uh, again, eighty six. So um, again, if you see the second statement, that Switzerland is second largest gold reserve. So number, and again, this is very limited scope. What if other country has more reserve? So numbers. These things are usually very limited scope. While you see the statement one, it has very broad scope. That Switzerland is one of the leading exporters of gold in terms of value. So one of the leading exporters. One of leading is very broad statement. Of course, even if it is tenth largest exporter, it will be one of the leading exporters. So nobody knows all these questions. You just have to apply your brain instantaneously based on your observation of previous year question paper. So it was my observation that a broad statement is correct and a statement with a number is wrong. From there, I got this option. Uh, question correct. Again, question number ninety-one out of three usually two is correct. See, uh, this trick will be wrong in question number eighty-nine out of three two will be correct. But we cannot get all the questions correct in this way. It will only work in seventy to eighty percent questions. Again, question number ninety-two, the idea will work that out of three statement two will be correct, but it will not work in ninety. So mostly it will be correct. Then seventy to eighty percent question it will work in. Uh, question number ninety-five again it worked. And in ninety question number ninety three, it is question related to mapping. So I told you, mapping trips you know, tricks will not work. Maps in polity tricks will not work. And these are all places in news. So mapping you should know very deliberately. So like uh, we can observe there has been like around ten questions from map in this year's paper. So map gave me a distinct advantage this year. Again, this question of uh, question number ninety four of Israel establishing diplomatic relation. This was in news. Question number ninety six again. I did not know, but out of three or four statement, usually two is correct. So that again worked. And sports and award they have asked in twenty twenty one also they asked sports and award. So UPSC gave you a hint that a sports section is also important for prelim. So you should prepare. So they asked in twenty twenty one, and that same I teams got repeated in twenty twenty three. Question number ninety seven again. International relation places a new so map. You should do very well. Uh, Question number ninety nine again. See, uh, they are asking green hydrogen is expected to play a significant role in which of these industries? So, science and technology and environment question. You don't know otherwise. It is but possible that the hydrogen, green hydrogen, can have a role in fertilizer plant or in oil refinery or green plant. You don't know otherwise. There is no way you can deny this thing. These things have a very wide scope. Each of the options and like I said, in science and tech and environment, it if it seems like all. All the options are correct, then it is likely to be correct. So it will work here. And again, question number ninety-eight: Chad, Guinea, Mali. These things were places in news and previous year they have been repeatedly asking questions from these areas. So it will work in that way. So this is what made me different from my past attempts that I have been doing previous year questions again and again. And my adherence to previous year question created the actual. Yeah, so that is regarding prelims. Now, if you have any questions, then we'll move on to forest service mains, etc. The so prelims में आपने time management कैसे किया था? Paper solve करते वक्त और uh, strategy क्या थी? कुछ लोग question number fifty से start करते, कुछ लोग question number one से start करते, तो कैसे किया था? See, uh, you can start from question number one itself, uh, but in my case, like I found few initial questions very difficult, so. Uh, then i went to question number 50 just for a change in mood and that satellite state was just presence of mind it simply clicked to me that time that there is the satellite thing yeah so coming back to that thing uh, i usually do from question number 1 but sometimes question number 1 to 5 are usually very difficult so just to get a change of taste i go to question number 50 or question 9 i start from question 100 sometimes i do that and regarding time management what i do is i I start from question number one. I start doing it, and any question that I find difficult, or if I find that it will require more thinking, I mark their number on the top of paper on that page itself, and then I immediately go to the next question. So if question number ten is very difficult, on top of that sheet where question number ten is printed, on top of that I will write question number ten, and I will move on to question number eleven, and I will quickly skim through all the questions in that way. My idea is to finish question. One reading in one hour ninety, one hour thirty minutes, and in remaining thirty minutes, I will do the next iteration. So, all those questions that I felt were difficult or I could have solved with another thinking, I have marked their number on top of the paper, and then I will give it give it a second reading. So this thing you can do, you can write their number on top of the page itself, that page.
सर ये क्वेश्चन uh, नंबर भी हम जब क्वेश्चन uh, सॉल्व करते हैं hmm. उसके बाद फिर हम uh, वहाँ पे क्वेश्चन नंबर हमें गिरने पड़ते हैं कितने क्वेश्चंस uh, हमने सॉल्व किए हैं ओमआर पे कितने टिक किए हैं सो डेट वी कैन टेक द रिस्क अकॉर्डिंगली तो सर इसके लिए क्या स्ट्रेटजी थी आपकी आई फिनिश वन रीडिंग इन लाइक I I finish one reading in like one and half hours and I mention all these questions on the top of it and after finishing one reading in nearly one and half hours I mark all those questions on OMR sheet so usually it is around fifty five to sixty questions on OMR sheet so usually I don't attempt more than seventy five eighty so now that in the first round I have attempted fifty five to sixty questions so I have to attempt fifteen to twenty more so in every page I have marked the questions that I have to see again on the top of the page so. I keep going through all the questions, and whichever question I feel that these questions are easier for me, relatively speaking, those questions I attempt. So gradually, I increase from sixty to sixty-five to seventy. Now I have already marked seventy, so then I will go from seventy to seventy-five. Again, skimming through all the pages, uh, if there are ten difficult questions that I have marked, and out of those ten difficult questions, if there if there are five difficult questions which are relatively relatively easier for me, those five I will mark. So now I have reached seventy-five. Then I will decide in the end should I go for seventy-nine, eighty, or should I leave at seventy-five? Then that way. And there was a doubt. The left question or doubt question? Yeah, yeah. On the top of the paper, you mark the question. My sister actually taught me this trick. She is a doctor, so she taught me that on the top of the paper itself, you mark and. What I used to do was on right now on see like we have a paper in which there are six questions. Usually this is UPSC's format. So if out of six question, one question is where I have eliminated two options, but I haven't finalized my answer. That thing I will write on the right side of the right side of the top of the paper and the question where I have only faint idea that I will write on the left side of the top of the paper. So once I have finished my first reading in one and a half hour, in the second reading first I will prioritize those question whose number I have marked on the top right side. Those are which questions where I have eliminated two options. So first I will go for those questions where I have eliminated two. By that time I would have solved seventy seventy five questions, and then for seventy five to eighty I will go to the number of questions, all those numbers that I have written on top left of the question questions where where I am not very sure. So these I will prioritize the least. I will pick just four five questions out of them, and I will go to eighty. And You were also asking me about time management. See, if you are first attempt, second attempt candidate, and if you have been missing prelims from for large margin, so I will suggest that you start from December itself. Now itself, you keep a target that you finish everything by February or March, and April and May you keep as backup. You use that for revision. So you start from a static part and start reading current affair. Give one month to current affair, and meanwhile keep reading a static part in one or two months. In two months, you should have a good good idea of current affairs, and you should have gone through all your static. Then from February itself, you start doing your test series because the prelims has actually become very difficult. So you need to give it the, enough time. And one lesson that I learned from my past attempt was when I was failing in prelims that I used to have this notion that I will learn prelims as well as I will keep studying my mains and optional in the meanwhile. So if I clear prelims, I will have an edge. But what happened was every time I was missing prelims because I was uh, wasting my time with optional and mains as well. So give full time to prelims from now onwards because all of you are new or you are missing prelims by large margin. So give your full time to prelims. Yeah. Sir, so what about the newspaper uh, editorial that we missed in the uh, past few months? How to cover that? Uh, Do we no need to go back to the newspaper and read it again? And no, no. If you have missed, leave it. No, no. If you have missed, leave it and go for go for the next month. For the past month, you pick any decent coaching magazine and you those coaching magazine. That is enough for upcoming month from December onwards. You do you don't have enough time to go through the past newspapers and read everything editorial as well. Sir, uh, uh, another question is like uh, while I read the newspaper. After two three days, I forget whatever I have read. So, do I need to keep on revising? Do I need to keep a note of it? See, note making of newspaper is time taking process. You can do in this exam. There is no right or wrong way. If you want, you can do it, but that will take time. In my case, what I used to do was I would give newspaper a reading. I would continuously 
reading it, I would continuously read every day's newspaper and that way you will have an idea that whatever things are going on. And once that month is over, you just pick any coaching monthly magazine and you read it. If you want, you can make newspaper. There's notes of newspaper. There is no harm, but I did not do it. It is your personal choice. Yeah, any other questions? Okay, so I will briefly discuss about the mains part and Indian Forest Service part. So uh, regarding mains, uh, yeah. Sita, do you have a question? Okay, fine. So regarding mains part, uh, see, thing is, I will suggest that Mm. In mains, uh, actually mains is easiest part in my opinion. What people do is people do not have uh, covered the entire syllabus or people do not have uh, solved the previous year questions or they do not know the art of answer writing question. Yeah. So people do not know the art of answer writing question or people are unable to finish the entire paper in time. So these are huge barrier for other candidates. So if you have finished the syllabus, if you have mm, solved the previous year question, 